Last week I was sitting here in the sanctuary during chapel for our school and I looked down at the pew I was sitting on and I was struck by the scars that I saw, the scratches, the indents in the wood. And I found myself thinking, what would these pews say? What stories do those lines, those scars on the pew tell? Have you ever walked and looked through our sanctuary at all the different indents, all the places where the finish has been rubbed away, all the places that our, our pews are scratched and wondered those things? Maybe it was a child playing with a toy on a pew or someone wrestling in their seat as they held back tears from losing someone they loved. The stories that the scars tell of these pews would be wonderful. But that got me to thinking, what do the stories of your scars tell? Whether that would be physical ones emotional or maybe even spiritual scars as well? Do they tell stories of doubt, of anxiety, of lostness? Part of me wonders if the reason that Thomas wanted to see Jesus' scars is because he knew the story that they told. Thomas knew that if he could see the scars of Jesus, that that would be the guy, that that's who would be him. And that in him, then he would believe. Because the scars told of Jesus' death, and if he was living there to be there to show him his scars, then that meant he obviously was risen. That he was Lord over all. Hear, hear this uh, from John chapter 20. Now Thomas, called Dynamis, one of the twelve, was not with them when Jesus came. The other disciples told him, We have seen the Lord. But he replied, Unless I see the wounds from the nails in his hands, and put my finger into the wounds from the nails, and put my hand into his side, I will never believe it. Eight days later, the disciples were again together in the house, and Thomas was with them. Although the doors were locked, Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, Put your fingers here and examine my hands. Extend your hand and put it into my side. Do not continue in your unbelief, but believe. Thomas replied to him, My Lord and my God. Jesus said to him, Have you believed because you have seen me? Blessed are the people who have not seen and yet believe. Thomas knew if he saw the scars of Jesus that that would be enough for him. And even in our scars, the stories that we tell, those that we keep to ourselves, those scars that only we hold on to, Jesus knows them as well. He has borne all of our sin on the tree, certainly. But he has overcome all things. And in him there is healing for all of those scars. And so those scars that we have, that used to be stories of shame, of disappointment, of frustration and anger, now, because of Jesus, by his wounds, those very scars can become scars of hope, scars of restoration, scars that have healed. Let me pray for you today. Jesus, in your wounds, by your wounds, through your wounds, we are healed, both in our bodies, 
but also in our spirits, in our souls. And we thank you and praise you for that. Send your spirit to us today that wherever we are hurting, you would bring healing. And that where we feel lost, that you would lead us. And those scars and the stories of brokenness they tell, that you would heal them so that they would tell stories of hope, stories of faith, and stories of love. Pray this all in your name. Amen.